Hi, this is Dan Kirkbright, and welcome back to another Coeur d'Alene School District technology tutorial. This tutorial is going to talk about authenticating to our web filter. And that means logging in using your district credentials to the web filter so that you can access pages that you have the rights to access. So for example, on the screen here, I've gone to a web page that I know is blocked for students, but not for staff. When I get to that page, I realize, hey, I've been blocked from it, but I shouldn't be. And I'll look up here in the left-hand corner, and there's a message that says, currently logged in as unknown user. And then in parentheses next to it, not you. I'm going to click on that not you button. And when I do, it's going to prompt me to log in. Here, I'm going to use my district credentials, my same username and password that I used to log into my computer and email. And once I've put those in, I'm going to click on the login button. And now that I've logged in as myself, I have access to a website that students wouldn't have access to. Now in order for me to check and see if I'm logged into it, I'm going to go also to a page that I know is blocked for everyone. You know, so where I'm going to go to Facebook. So if I go to a page and I see this sign that I'm blocked, and I look up here, I can tell that I'm logged into the filter because it has my username. So I'm signed in as D. Kirkbride to the web filter. And so I look here and I say, okay, so this is a page that is blocked for everybody, staff, students. And if this is a page that I feel like is something that I need for class, that I need to be able to pull up during class and use with my students, then I'm going to send a message to techrepair at cdaschools.org with the URL and the purpose and just asking for it to be unblocked if possible and then we will take a look at it and see if that's something that we want to unblock and uh, get back to you as soon as possible. If you have any questions about this process you can uh, email me at dkirkbride at cdaschools.org or uh, send in a tech repair at techrepair at cdaschools.org. Thanks.